This is B17425145, nicknamed the Gremlin. It was shot down by enemy aircraft on mission to Padua, Italy on March 11, 1944 with Lieutenant William F. Peters Jr. crew. The missing air crew report number 2836 has some witness reports about the loss. The following is the statement of 2nd Lieutenant Clarence W. Southern, pilot of B-17 number 4124361, flying in the 3rd Squadron, 2nd Element, 2nd Plane. I saw plane number 42-5145 get hit by a rocket about 11.50 to 11.55 hours. It jumped slightly up and then noses down far away. Just before it did this, I saw the radio operator throwing burning clothes out of the upper hatch and smoke was coming out of this hatch. The plane passed out of my sight, and I thought it was going down. But few minutes later, he pulled back into his original position. The left wing was burning behind the number two engine, and I could see a large hole in the wing. Then he peeled off to the right and disappeared underneath our plane, and I could see no more. Next is the statement of Staff Sergeant Anthony S. Kuchavka, right west gunner on B-17 number 4124361. Flying in the 3rd Squadron, 2nd Element, 2nd Plane. A few minutes after the fighters started attacking us, I saw plane number 42, 5145, slip out underneath us to the right, and it was slowly losing altitude. I didn't see anything wrong at the time. He must have lost about 3,000 feet altitude when I first saw flames coming out. At this time, he was heading back towards land, and about eight P 47s were circling above him. About 10 seconds later, I spotted the flame. I saw the first parachute open. I counted six parachutes open in all, and then I turned away to watch the fighters. When I tuned back to look again, I saw the plane in pieces, each piece is burning as it was going down. I couldn't count the parachutes again. The third witness account was made by Staff Sergeant Raymond C. Bringolf, top turret gunner on B-17-4238069, flying in the third squadron, first element, lead plane. Fighters started attacking our formation at about 11.48 hours, and they damaged plane number 42, 5145, on the very first pass. After a few moments, their element pulled over on the right wing of our element, and I saw gas coming out of number 145, number 2 engine gas tank. Several minutes later, this number 2 tank caught fire. Then the plane pulled up high and started dropping behind the formation. Then I saw him turn off to the right and noticed that the bomb bay doors had been opened. I saw parachutes opening and counted eight altogether. The last three came out just before the plane exploded. It went into a dive, which continued as far as I could follow it. The time was 12.06 hours. Our coordinates were approximately 44 degrees 40 minutes north, 13 degrees 0 minutes east, and our altitude was 19,000 feet. The fourth statement was made by Technical Sergeant Thomas W. Forbes, top turret gunner on B-17 number 4124361, flying in the 3rd Squadron, 2nd Element, 2nd Plane. When I first spotted plane number 42, 5145, it was back at 4 o'clock low, and as it came into view was on fire on the left side. I saw three parachutes come out. All this was over water. Then the plane nosed down, turning to the left, and I counted three more parachutes. Then the left wing came off, one more parachute opened. Then the fuselage came off, and the pieces went down burning. At that time our altitude was about 19,000 feet, and that plane of number 145 when it fell apart was about 11,000 feet. Our coordinates were about 44 degrees 44 minutes north, 13 degrees 0 minutes east, and the time was about 12.05 hours. And this is the last statement, made by Staff Sergeant Virgil Lazar, bolt to gunner on B-17 number 41. 24361, flying in the third squadron, second element, second plane. I heard the pilot call over the interphone. Keep an eye on plane number 145. It's burning on the left wing. It was several minutes before I could see the plane. He passed under us going from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, losing altitude and speed. At that time, I could see a hole of at least two feet diameter between number one and number two engines, and fire was pouring out from behind the hole. I followed it until it was a thousand yards or so behind us, and P-47s had started to circle it. Then the flame suddenly flared up to three times its former size. Immediately afterward, 
I counted five parachutes which opened in rapid succession. Then the left wing seemed to crumpled up and the plane went into a left-hand dive. Then I counted three more chutes, which blossomed out about the airplane as it was diving down. That was the last I saw. The gremlin ditched into the Adriatic Sea. This screen shows the approximately location on the map. There were no survivors of Lieutenant Peter's crew. Finally, some general information about this B-17. This B-17 was an F-model built by Boeing, assigned to the 32nd Bomb Squadron, 301st Bomb Group on January 11, 1943. Completed 62 combat missions with this group before transferred to the 96th Bomb Squadron, 2nd Bomb Group on November 14, 1943. The Gremlin flew 40 combat missions with this group when it failed to return. This B-17 flew a total of 102 combat missions. The picture shows this B-17 with a square on the tail. This is the early marking of the 301st bomb group. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos about the B-17 Flame Fortress and Witness Report.